Greetings grade 10. This video has the purpose of showing you how to read melodies now. Okay, so we're going to incorporate two things in this practice. We're going to incorporate the way that we know how to read rhythms. Remember uh, how we used to count one and two and three and four and like that and how to read quarter notes or how to perform quarter notes, eight notes, and quarter note rests. And we're going to add to that the name of notes, okay? So you have these two materials in Google Classroom. You have the clef guides, okay, where you have the notes that you can find in the treble clef for the violin, in the alto clef for the viola, and in the bass clef for the cello and the bass. So you have this guide for you to know where are the different notes located in each of these clefs. Apart from that, you have this other material, okay, which is four exercises in all of the different clefs, okay? So each type of instrument has four different exercises in their particular clef. This is the one for cello and bass. Let me show you quickly also here the one for violin looks like this see you have it here with the uh, treble clef for violin and also for viola you have it here exercises one two three and four each of them is a little bit different for each of the instrument types and what you're going to do is the following so for example in this particular case it's very simple because here you're reading only quarter notes, which is very easy to read. This is only one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Very simple, right? So the rhythm is very simple. When in doubt, always try to clap the rhythm first so you know how the rhythm goes okay so if we clap this if we count it and clap it it will be something like this three and one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four now, the next step is replacing the claps with the name of the notes according to the clef that you have and using the same rhythm that you just clapped. So, in this case, you will do something like this, three and C, D, E, F, G, G, A, B, C, B, C, C. So in order to do that, it is important that you familiarize yourself first with the notes that you have. What are the name of the notes that you have in your clef? Where are the notes located? The notes of the diatonic scale. And be very clear on how to read rhythms and how to be fluent in reading beats. Okay? In keeping the beat, keeping the pulse. Okay? So there you have it. It's four exercises for each of the instrument types. I hope this explanation was productive and see you next time.